What is going on guys, this is LaserBolt and today we're going to be talking about everything that you guys need to know before you play the closed beta of the First Descendants. I know a lot of us are actually waiting for finally a good loot and shooter to come out, but not only fulfills the promise, but it actually gives us a lot of replayability. The First Descendant, we're crossing our fingers, we'll do that, but before you guys get your hands on the closed beta, let's go ahead and talk about everything you need to know and everything we know so far about the game. So let's get the first thing you're going to know. Who's going to be able to play this closed beta? Well, all you're going to do is, guys, go to the link down below, sign up to the webpage, and you will get access to the closed beta. Now, unfortunately, the closed beta is currently only right now on PC. It won't be on console, but the game will be releasing on console as well. I am hoping that there's going to be another beta, which should be an open beta, that I'm pretty sure will be available for consoles and PC, crossing our fingers that actually comes to fruition. For the closed beta, guys, there's going to be a total of 10 different players. All 10 different players have their own abilities, their own unique playstyles. So we're really excited to see what these characters have to offer, as of course, via the trailer. We have seen some really cool abilities, and we've also seen some very similar abilities that we've seen in other games such as Destiny, Warframe, and of course Outriders. Now with that being said, 10 characters is quite a lot. If you kind of think about how many characters we have in Destiny, there's only three. If you think other games like Outriders, there's only a total of four different characters. There's a total of 10 different characters that will be available during the beta. So imagine what's going to happen when the game launches. Now, if you think about it, out of all the loot and shooters that have come out, for example, Destiny, Outriders, Anthem, uh, The Division, and all these uh, Warframe, I believe this might be the game that launches as far as beta is concerned with this many characters that are playable and that seem to have actually been finished and completed with not only their abilities their skills and synergy of different ways they actually operate so i'm really excited for that now speaking about the game launching when can we expect this game to actually go full release we do know it's coming out 2023 and from what we know and from the rumors it's going to be quarter two or quarter one so with that in mind we do believe that the release announcement will come very soon hopefully at the end of this beta now the beta will be available for a total of six days it runs from october the the 20th all the way to October the 26th and once again all 10 characters will be available. Now, since you're going to be immersing yourself into a brand new world, you probably want to know what exactly is taking place in the world. Well, we know a little bit about the story. The story pretty much focuses on you being a descendant, one of many descendants who have been left in this world to protect humankind from an alien invasion. And luckily for us, we actually get a look of who the main antagonist is going to be because this actually got shown within the trailer and boy, does he look like a meanie. So now you want to know what is the gameplay feel like? Like, is it going to be more like Destiny? Is it going to be more like Outriders? Is it going to be more like Warframe? I think it's going to be a combination of all these three different types of games. It seems like the game does have some fast-paced movement based on some of the characters' abilities that we've seen in the trailer. In addition to that, there is a brand new element that they introduced into the game, which is giving you the grapple hook, and that's going to give you a lot of verticality that we haven't seen in some games where you're kind of just tied down to the floor. You can't really jump. You can't really move. This game does seem to provide you with a lot of verticality and a lot of building climbing that's going to change the dynamics of the way we actually approach the game. One thing I would like to know if there's destructibility because this is pretty, pretty insane if you're up in a building shooting down and the enemy shoots you and it breaks down the building and you kind of fall down from the building. That's going to be something very complex that I can't wait to actually see if that is the case. In addition to that, they said that the synergy between characters is going to be fundamental when you play the game. They want to make sure that the game not only is consistent when it comes to playing solo, but they also want to make sure that when you're playing the game, you want to focus on playing with other people because that's going to allow you guys to have a, not only a better experience, but to make sure you clear certain levels a lot quicker because combinations of the skills and combinations of the abilities of each character should synergize in perfectly. Now, speaking about playing together, guys, I highly recommend you guys check out our Discord server. We're trying to get as many people who are actually going to be playing the first ascendant to the Discord server so you guys can be ready for launch and have people to play with. Now, let's talk a little bit about something that a lot of you guys are probably pretty wondering. What's how's the character customization going to be, right? So the thing that we got, the inf brand new information that we got recently is the fact that there is these items called ruins. And supposedly these ruins are going to be items that we are going to have the potential of slotting them to not only to our gear, but also 
of weapons. And what was said within the interview was that these ruins are going to change the dynamic of the way our classes and our abilities work. For example, how many crit hits our weapon does. For example, how fast is our cooldown for a specific ability. How much elemental damage we're going to do with a specific weapon. So a lot of really interesting stuff. And it seems to be taking a more of a RPG element when it comes to this particular ruin aspect as opposed to a loot and shooter. So that's something quite interesting and intriguing because usually when we play loot and shooters, there isn't that much integral part when it comes to applying mods. Yes, you still are able to apply mods in certain games, but they really don't change the dynamic of your abilities and your skills. So I'm hoping this is a more complex build structure, more like an RPG with a little bit of loot and shooter twist. This should be very interesting for different build types and different ways of actually playing one individual character in multiple ways. Now I know one of the biggest questions when it comes to loot and shooters and MMOs is what is the end game? What exactly is going to happen after I level up my character? What, what am I going to be able to do? Now there isn't a ton of information but what we do know and we recently got information of is the fact that they said that they wanted to build bosses and have activities towards I'm assuming towards the end of the game because these are bosses that you're going to be fighting to be very dynamic and very diverse from your typical boss fights. Now, this is something interesting that I thought that they kind of pinpointed here is because they said that they wanted to make sure that when you're playing or doing these boss fights, you're kind of required to play as a team because in order for you to defeat this boss, you're going to have to be able to mesh very well with the people you have around you and also be able to select what character benefits that particular boss. Now, this is actually pretty cool because it's something that I do want to see in loot and shooters where you're not stuck to a specific character or, you know, aka play the meta where you have multiple characters that not only perform well but do a very good job now what we do know is that this is going to be going with the archetype of having a tank having a healer having a support class and also having a nuker so i'm really excited to see where these characters kind of diverse to and how well they synergize together now i know the other very important question for you guys this is a free-to-play game how much monetization will be involved in the game and i'm going to tell you guys i was kind of very doubtful on this one until we recently got the news a couple days ago which i was the first one to actually report this on youtube and i will leave a link of the video on the description so you guys can see it in more detail but they did state that they are aware of the concern a lot of people have of the way the monetization works in these type of games but they did want to make sure that you have access to everything that you're going to be able to do to progress in the game to be found within the game without you having to play some sort of incentive aka pay to win now of course i do expect monetization of course how they're going to make money on this game and we can expect stuff like destiny where it's cosmetic items maybe emotes weapon skins and all that jazz so it's basically going to be a thing like do you want to look good or do you want to look eh? well that's going to be basically up to you if you want to spend that dough now, we recently put out a question, guys. If you had any questions regarding the first descendant to let us know what those questions are. If you guys would like to reply to that community post, we'll go ahead and link it down below or just drop your question down here in the comment section down below. And I'm 100% sure I will be able to answer every single question you guys might have, maybe right now or maybe in a future video. Now, speaking about that, guys, you're definitely going to want to check out this video that's popping up right now on the screen. It's going to give you more information about the First Descendant that you're definitely not going to want to miss out because we are extremely excited for this loot and shooter as much as you guys are. Now, don't forget to head on over and check out our Discord server where we're trying to link up with as many as you guys for when the game comes out. If you guys are enjoying our content here at the channel, a like would be greatly appreciated. It does help us out with the algorithm and it does help spread this video just a little bit more. Now, if you want to show additional love and support and want to be one of the first in line to get help with the first descendant make sure you guys join the bull nation by hitting the join button down below we'd love to have you guys on board and boy do we have a lot of content coming your way thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next video